Hello guys, how you doing? It's a beautiful Saturday out. It rained overnight, but it's beautiful now. Nice and cool and great. Getting to late August. Guys, once again, you know my channel. If you're new to it, stay in your spiritual being. The manly coat, take it off. I come to you with a higher frequency that's uh, not on the man level. It's going to be on the spiritual being level because that's what we really are. God truly loves you and I love you all. Thank you to all the subscribers and all the supporters. All the great comments. I really thank you guys. Today's topic, Great Awakening 2020. Continue this week with staying in your high frequency. And what's coming in the future? I'm going to give you a little glimpse. Great Awakening 2020. Stay in your high frequency this week. And what's coming in the future? All right, guys. I saw something yesterday, and I don't know why they're still doing it. It's even churches. The FEMA camp stuff, stop it. <laughs> That's that fear stuff. When you see that, turn it off. Run. We were supposed to be already in the FEMA camps when the coronavirus hit. They put the five G's up, right? And then the virus hit. A lot of us would have went to the hospital. They would have gave you a vaccination. And you know the story. We would have been in FEMA camps. They, can, they would have done that already. That was the plan. That plan is foiled. If you see those type of stuff run. Those are people listening to me or not. They only look at they only look at one side, Republican or Democrat. They don't look at everything. They don't go on your YouTube's and search. They don't search everything. Stop it. There's no FEMA camps. FEMA camps. That plan got canceled. We were supposed to be in the FEMA camps, but it got foiled by the. By the, by the universal God. I want to eliminate that. I saw that yesterday. So that one day will stop it. That's not, that's not coming. What's coming is a victory in the end. And that's called the elections. But I'm taking you this week. So elections, this all this stuff will go away. I am on God's side. That's God's plan. So, back to this week. Okay, people like me and the people that believe in the child pedophilia, media is coming for us. <laughs> they're, they're saying that we're conspiracy. So all the stuff I've been giving you about the pedophilia, the root, yeah. That's because some of the people in the media are about to get arrested for the also for being part of of the corruption of America and the treason. Because media has to also, when these, when these politicians put these false things for you, media is also part of it. Media is a part of your deep state Illuminati. I always say do your research. So when they say conspiracy, that's when you go look. You are a child of the most high God. You fear nothing. You must search everything. Why would they tell you? Yeah. So when they say conspiracy, that's when you go look. The conspiracy is them because they've been lying to you. They're the ones. So that's what's coming. Your media is going to talk more against people like me. That's telling you the actual truth. And when you search it, it's truthful, isn't it? <laughs> so they, anyway, I just wanted to get that out. Uh, there will be new voting machines coming. You can research it. So the post office, they got some type of cryptocurrency, crypto mail system. Because right now, people, uh, you know, Democrats and Republicans are, are going back and forth over mail in ballot. But they got a new system. But they got a lot of people not woken. So I don't know how they're going to implement it in. But they got a new voting system. Yeah. You can research it. It's a system that's going to be fair and not going to be cheated. Of course, 
and media not talking anything about it. Even the even the thing about it being an option they're not even reporting. The media isn't news. They're supposed to report new things. So anyway, you can go to your YouTube no, no, uh, most recent and you can research that. Okay, guys, we had the uh, Democrat conventions, which was the Trump bashings. But the Democrats, to be honest, did they tell you anything about future plans that they were bringing? They just said, don't vote for Trump. I understand that. But did they tell you their future goals? Remember, you're not supposed to be political. You're supposed to be open to both sides. I did. They, they bashed Trump. So that was the Democrats. Your Republicans is coming now with their convention this week. Their convention is going to be on the things Donald Trump did. To be fair to yourself, take your bias out of it, go and search. He has done a lot. If you're honest and you go search, you'll see. So uh, that's what's coming. The Demo the uh, Republican conventions are coming this week. And that's what's coming. And then also, still you got a couple debates. Yeah, they're going to have the debates. You're going to have uh, one debate with, uh, with, the vi with the vice president, Mike Pence versus uh, Harris, Kamala Harris. That's coming in your future. And then you're going to have three with Joe Biden and Trump. Head up. Because uh, it's easy to hide behind, uh, it's easy to say things be when they're not face to face. But you got the debates coming. And then also, jobs. We, we're into Labor Day, so now more jobs, your jobs may start asking you to come back. So those of you on un unemployment, that's what's coming because we're getting near Labor Day. Remember, they got the football coming back, the schools. Yes, yeah, schools is also, you're going to hear more and more about reopening schools. That's what's going on in the week coming. But uh, once again, stay with the high frequency because no matter what's going on, you create your reality by how you think. Look at my world right now. How many cars you see? <laughs> You can have your world the same, peaceful and thankful. A lot of good, lot of reasons I thought about it why you may have to go back to work. We've been away from work, so we've been only talking with people on social media, Facebook, and maybe your next, maybe your next teaching is to go back to the jobs and slowly compare notes on what they know and what you know, because we are all teachers. So. As you gathered all this information in the lockdown, you know so much. Maybe now you're next. You never know. Because I'm also being offered my old uh, job back, even though I'm independent. Right now, I'm a stock trader. And I'm already, I'm already wealthy. So <laughs> I'm in a great decision if I want to go back to the hotel industry. Or if I want to stay like this, uh, independent and just live live free undecided but it's coming so anyway that's what's coming in the near future stay in your high frequency we are all spiritual beings and we are all creators of our life no matter what these humans do if you stay in your high frequency you win god likes the man as i did with you romans uh, 8 6 through 8 God always wants us in the spirit. He loves a man in the spirit because that's your true self. So uh, if you go back to the jobs, I ask you to slowly give people information. <laughs> Don't just throw them the whole encyclopedia. Give them a little bit at a time. Maybe let them approach you. Try to be patient with them the same way. Because I... Uh, we, you don't know what they encountered during their lockdown, man. People lost loved ones and a lot of other things. People take, some people don't have a spiritual being. Some people are humans. <laughs> so it's best to always be patient, give people time. I still got a few relatives. I give them, they get mad at me for, for a few, 
few weeks or whatever until they find out it's true and then they come back. And that's fine. So give people time, man. But always stay with truth. If you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Many times as spiritual beings, as uh, God's cherished ones, we're not going to always be the most light. But uh, in the end, once everything comes, once they find out that you are speaking the truth, they'll keep tuning back in. Someone can respect you for telling the truth. They just won't respect you for uh, not telling the truth. But don't worry about it. As, uh, as chosen vessels, that's what you go through. So anyway, guys, you take care. The week ahead will be just get your popcorn. You already kind of know what's going on. So we should be very comfortable. But we can uh, comfort folks as the weeks come, as we already know what's going on. And guys, have a super day. I appreciate you. Every day, like I say, is what? A great day. Thank you.